G'day everyone. If you're a DBA, you're often under a fair bit of pressure, not just in terms of patching, upgrades, deployments. Sometimes you're under pressure from the people that hold the purse strings in your company, the managers who are saying, why do you keep asking for more disk space? You know, why can't you make better advantage of the, the disk you currently have? Why do you say they're full, et cetera, et cetera? Often you're put under pressure in terms of wanting to have access to more storage. Now, it gets even harder when you're faced with situations like this. I jump onto my database and I run a select table space name to get how big my table space is. So I'm adding up all the DBA data files for my frag TS table space. And in this case, it says it's 100 megabytes. It could be 100 gigabytes, it could be 100 terabytes. The units don't really matter in this case. I then go look up all the segments that are currently in this table space and it says, well, there's only 14 megabytes. There's 85% free space in that table space. And when those kind of reports head up to management, they're like, well, we don't need to buy more disk. You can just shuffle things around to actually you know, get that disk space back. And so what happens when you log on and try actually get that disk space back? Because this is an Oracle managed file, I don't need to even specify the data file. I just do alter table space, frag TS. I'd like to resize it down to something that's going to easily accommodate that 14 megabytes and it doesn't work. Now, there's a reason for that, as most people know, is that if your data file is something like this, not all the data is right down this far into the data file. It could be scattered throughout. And in fact, we can do a query against DBA extents and actually have a look at that. I'm querying DBA extents, trying to find the maximum block allocation in this table space. And you can see that even though there's only 14 megabytes of used data in this table space, some of that 14 megabytes is up right at the high end of the data file, at the 91 megabyte mark. That means I can't resize this data file anything below 92 megabytes roughly. So even though I've got all this free space in there, I can't get access to it. I could put new objects in there, but I certainly can't reclaim it. If I wanted to reclaim it, that would be a nightmare because then I would have to do things like alter table move or export import, that means downtime. Alter table move can be done online in the more recent versions, but as you know, if you had any columns in there which were long columns or other kinds of things like that that might restrict your ability to do an alter table move online, then you're pretty much stuck. In Oracle Database 23 AI, all of that will become the thing of the past. Check out this cool demo. I set server output on and sister one liner. I call DVMS space table space shrink and pass in the table space name. It works away for a while and it tells me how many objects I had to move around, etc. And it tells me how much space I got back. If I look at the size of my table space now, you can see it has automatically done the data file shrink as well. It dropped me down to 24 megabytes, giving me back three quarters of the table space size available now to other disk facilities, other table spaces, etc. Now, a word of warning here. If this thing is 100 terabytes and you've got data scattered everywhere through it, then obviously a reshrink of these table space is going to be an expensive operation because what we're doing is the stuff we used to have to do manually. We're grabbing segments at the high watermark end and shuffling them down toward the front until we've filled in all the gaps. You know, if you've ever done the old uh, Windows defrag utility from back in the day, you know this is an expensive exercise. This is probably designed more at those cases where you don't have many objects in your table space, but you've just got a few up at the high watermark end that you would rather shuffle down in order to get some big gains for minimal resource cost. So please take that into account. But the cool thing is now this works with all the things that would normally be restricted in your Oracle database. So I haven't done the example here, but if that table space had some tables with columns with long columns or long rows, it's going to work just fine. We can actually move any segment that's available there in the table space without having to worry about problems in terms of the data types, etc. And the whole thing is done online, so you're not going to have interruption to service as well. So if you're a DBA, you're going to absolutely love this facility because suddenly all those hassles in terms of reclaiming space from data files which have table spaces which were not really full up, those problems are now a thing of the past. Enjoy!